Yo, what's up, YouTube? This is your man, Junior, a.k.a. Smoking Guns, out here in Tucson, Arizona, representing the Ultimate Fight Club, giving you the latest content in boxing and MMA news that is out. So today's video, this is going to be my final thoughts on tomorrow night's UFC 288 with the main event, Aljamain Sterling versus Henry Cejudo for the UFC Bantamweight title. Dude, this is going to be a sick-ass fight. Definitely going to be a very entertaining-ass fight. And it's going to show us fight fans, what is Henry Cejudo going to look like coming off of a friggin' three-year layoff when his last fight was in 2020 when he knocked out damn Dominic Cruz. But before we get started, make sure to hit the like button on the video, subscribe to the channel, and if you have anything to say, hit me up in the comment section. But going into this fight, both of these dudes definitely have attributes that will be able to pose the other one problems. I mean, with the dude like Aljamain Sterling, the dude has been on a friggin' tear ever since that damn knockout loss years ago to Marlon Marias when his ass was doing the damn dab. But he's been on a friggin' tear, literally damn near finishing off half of the opponents that he has fought up against. And with notable names like Peter Yan, who he does have an actual legit win against. And one of the most notable names I would say is actually Corey Sanhagen and the way that he was able to finish him and where Corey Sanhagen is at in the Bantamweight division. Dude, he's definitely been on a tear with the top dudes in that damn Bantamweight division. And I can definitely see him being able to give problems for a dude like Henry Cejudo with how big he is, how strong he is, his grappling ability, and how tall he is. He's gonna be very lengthy and rangy on a dude like Henry Cejudo. And he definitely has the striking aspect to be able to defend himself and the awkwardness with his striking to be able to pose problems for a dude like Henry Cejudo because Aljamain Sterling is very unorthodox with his striking. But going up against a dude like Henry Cejudo, dude, he's going to be a very, very tough task for Aljamain Sterling just for the simple fact is Aljamain Sterling relies heavily on his wrestling. And going up against a dude like Henry Cejudo, he's a friggin' gold medalist wrestler. So I really really have a hard time being able to see a dude like Aljamain Sterling being able to take down Henry Cejudo going into this damn fight. And personally for me, it's going to really rely on what is Henry Cejudo going to look like coming off of this layoff. If he's looking like the vintage Henry Cejudo back when he was on that tear, I cannot really see a dude like Aljamain Sterling be able to take down Henry Cejudo. And Henry Cejudo, not only does he have superb wrestling, has really sick grappling, very fast, very explosive, knockout power. When it comes to the striking dynamic, I definitely give him the edge over Aljamain Sterling in the striking. He's definitely more technical, much better boxer, and he can definitely be able to pose problems to a dude like Aljamain Sterling. And going into this fight, when I'm looking at the striking dynamics of both of these fighters, I can definitely see Henry Cejudo being able to knock out a dude like Aljamain Sterling going into this fight, depending on the game plan of a dude like Aljamain Sterling. Now, with the game plan, for Aljamain Sterling, I definitely see him being able to keep a dude like Henry Cejudo on the outside. And anytime it does get into the close range where Henry Cejudo does get into his striking distance, of course, we know that Aljamain Sterling is going to try to clinch. Definitely going to be trying to go for the takedown. And it's going to be interesting to see if he can be able to impose his physical strength and his physical will on a dude like Henry Cejudo. And will he be able to take him down? That's really the question. But going into this fight with Henry Cejudo, I definitely see him going in here and making this a striking match, being able to outbox a dude like Aljamain Sterling and almost playing the brawl and sprawl game on a dude like Aljamain Sterling. Like I said, just for the simple fact is Aljamain Sterling most definitely relies on his wrestling heavy going into these damn fights and relying on his wrestling up against a dude like Henry Cejudo can definitely be detrimental for a dude like Aljamain Sterling, you dig? But if he's able to get into the clinch, one of the main things that I can actually see Aljamain Sterling do is being able to use the clinches, not only to try to get the takedown, but trying to get particular positions on a dude like Henry Cejudo to try to take the back to try to get some sort of standing submission and even using that as a transition to try to get the takedown. Because like I said, Aljamain Sterling, he is very crafty and very sneaky, very unorthodox. And it can be hard to tell what exactly is he trying to implement on his opponent until it's too damn late, you know what I'm saying? But going into this fight, if Henry Cejudo is not the vintage Henry Cejudo that was back in 2020 when he was on his tear, I can definitely see Aljamain Sterling imposing his will, and I can actually see Aljamain Sterling getting a submission win in this damn fight. But if Henry Cejudo is coming into this fight, his vintage self, 
I see him knocking out Aljamain Sterling and being able to get back that damn UFC Bantamweight title. And if I have to pick a winner in this damn fight, dude, I'm actually personally leaning towards Henry Cejudo for the knockout win. But if he is not on his A game, Aljamain Sterling will definitely be able to use his length and his reach to be able to pick off Henry Cejudo from the outside, being able to use his movement to be able to offset Henry Cejudo, keeping him at the end of his punches and his strikes, pretty much getting the clinch when he feels like it, working on the inside of the clinch and trying to drag down Henry Cejudo for a takedown. And even if he's not able to implement that takedown, being able to use that to transition into a submission and actually catch Henry Cejudo slipping in this damn fight but only time is going to tell when this fight goes down but when it does go down it's definitely going to be interesting to see what is henry cejudo going to look like coming off of that layoff and does aljermaine sterling have what it takes to be able to defend that ufc bantamweight title you dig but with that being stated i hope you guys like the video if you guys like the video make sure to hit the like button if you're not subscribed make sure to subscribe to the channel and if you have any kind of comments any kind of questions Hit me up in the comment section and I'll be sure to hit you guys up. All right. So I hope you like the video. Holla at your man.